everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new I'm Nicole if you could please subscribe to my channel turn your notification bell on give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment I do appreciate it um, I know I've been away for a while I've been spending the summer with my kids but I thought I would come back on today because I have a very special video I am unboxing Jeffree Star mystery boxes it came in this big box I can't even fit it all the way in the frame um, I hope everybody has been well, and I hope you've had a great summer. I know I've had a really good summer, and I will be back doing videos um, shortly. I do plan on recording a bunch of videos, so that way I have stuff to post up. So I went ahead and cut the tape. And it has a bunch of pink tissue paper in here, which I love pink. And I always save this and use it for whenever I send out friend mail or just stuff in general. And I always say to recycle it as much as you can. I always say the bubble wrap and palettes and that sort of thing. Now, my birthday is right around the corner. So this is a birthday present. Yes. Mini. The premium. The deluxe. And I also have the Supreme, which is pretty neat that they all fit in a box together. Here we are. And I also see that there is a little postcard in here as well, which is pretty neat. It is about his Supreme Gloss. I like to keep these little cards. And here is the front of it. Jeffrey and his models looking fabulous as always. Go ahead and start with the mini. And I will go from there. I'm pretty excited to see what I got. This is a really cool birthday present, especially since my birthday is August 3rd, and this literally arrived right before then. But you open it up and it has the green tissue paper. And then when you open it, here is a little sneak peek. The first thing I received are these really cute single shadows, which I love single shadows. I swear by them. I love them so much. Um, and I'm glad that Jeffrey did this, especially for those who are diehard Jeffrey fans and they may use up a certain shade. They can just get another one or put it in a travel palette. But here are the boxes. I think they are cute. The detailing is cute. And that kind of goes with the first shade, which is cute. And then the next shade is Undertaker. Um, I do not have these at all. I also like to point out that the detailing inside the box as well is just amazing. But here is the shade. It is a nice minty till kind of green. And then I will go ahead and show you this other one, which is Undertaker. It's a beautiful deep blue shade, I believe. It could be black. The next thing we have is the gloss. And this is in the shade Succulent. I love anything pink. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The detailing is beautiful on this as well. The next thing I received is a eyeliner in Cold Digger. The packaging is so sleek. And here is the shade. It is a nice brown. Cannot wait to give that a try. You all know that's been around for a while that I love black eyeliner. I go through it pretty fast, but I will definitely give that one a try. And then the last thing in this box is the 
exclusive shade. Has the cute little Star Ranch logo on it. And of course you shake well before you use any of Jeffrey's lipsticks. This is the shade. It is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Androgyny and Calabasas. I would say if those two had a baby, this is what it would look like. It's a nice mauve pinky tone. And everybody that knows me knows I love those type of lip shades. But I am up for getting anything. But again, in the mini box, I got the eyeliner. The exclusive lip shade. The gloss in succulent. And then two single shadows. Now then I will go ahead and set that to the side. And we will go for the next box, which is the premium. I love the packaging of these boxes. I think the detailing is so cute on these. When you open it up, there is pink tissue paper. And here is a sneak peek of everything. Right off the bat, I'm going to show you three single shadows. Um, the first one, I am not going to say the name, but I'm pretty sure you all know what shade this is. It is from Jawbreaker, I believe. Then the shade is Power, and we have Priceless. I'm literally so excited to have these. I just, I'm so blown away. Here is Priceless. Nice, beautiful shade. Just a real good base shade or transition shade. Then here is Power. A beautiful gray tone, which I absolutely love. And then here is the one I'm not going to say the name on camera, but it is a real pretty orange salmon color. The next thing looks like it is a magnetic palette, so that is nice. I'll go ahead and open that up really quick. It is so beautiful. I love pink, so I'm going to absolutely love this. It is a good size palette. I will open up my shades at the end and put it in the palette and show you what it looks like in the palette. The next thing we have is a Velour Lip Scrub and Rainbow Sherbet. And I love Sherbet ice cream. So I know I'm going to absolutely love this. Again, packaging is amazing and the detailing is amazing. It smells so good. It's a pretty green. It makes me think of lime sherbet with a, maybe a hint of orange scent in there as well, which are my two favorite sherbet ice creams. So I cannot wait to give this a try. Lip scrubs are definitely a must if you wear a lot of dry, drying lipsticks. The next thing I have is the gloss. In paid in full. This is from the Blood Money collection. I'm super happy to have this. You all know I love to add my kids' favorite colors into my collection. And this one, of course, has the beautiful green on it. Nice detailing. It's just a real beautiful peachy pink with green flakes of glitter in it. And you all know my son loves green, so I'm super happy about this. And again, attention to detail. Look how cute the detailing is in the box. The next thing is a tinted lip balm in Cowboy Kiss. This is so adorable. It's a pink little bullet. And here is the shade. Now, of course, with lip balms, it just gives you a light shade of cover color, so it will not be that deep. And it does have the magnetic closure as well, which is nice. And then the last thing in this box is the 
Star Ranch palette, which I'm really excited to see. I am so, so excited with all these goodies. I do not have any of them. And of course, if I have any repeat items, they will be going to people that I know, probably my daughters. Um, I like this. It feels like wood, and this makes me think it's branded in there, which goes with the whole Star Ranch theme. And of course, it has the Star Ranch logo. So this is just really nice. And of course it has shade names and ingredients and all of that on the back. And here is the actual palette, which I think is adorable. I love the clouds and then all the detailing in it. If you've ever been in this area, you know how beautiful the skies are and how the hills and everything look. And I love that he added the touch of pink. For the star ranch and for the horse and the animals on here the yak because that is jeffrey just a hint of pink to know it's his um, at the top it does have a little mirror with some guns which is really cute and here are the shades which i am very very impressed with i definitely see where he was going with this the beautiful blue skies mountains and that kind of thing i really like this um the shade names are yak farm owl eyes and open range which is the top row then there is casper mountain wyoming star creek old jeff grand prismatic and winter wind these shades are beautiful i will not be doing any swatches today just to try to save on some time that way i can do try not to make this video too long but that was my premium here is the deluxe box again cute detailing which i love his attention to detailing he is very creative and very thoughtful on what he does with his business and his packaging has the cute yellow tissue paper which i will be keeping here is a little sneak peek of course the first thing i see is the gloss in beaded glass i do not have this one i'm super excited another beautiful beautiful shade this is from his new collection of course we all know what it is called but i will not be saying it on camera absolutely beautiful then we have three single shades in licorice intravenous and then we have ice tray all beautiful beautiful shades of course, licorice is a beautiful red tone. Then we have ice tray, which is a beautiful blue shimmer. And then we have intravenous, which is a nice deep berry kind of brown undertone like a red dirt kind of undertone the next thing we have is a velour liquid lipstick in celebrity skin i do not have this one And this is what it looks like, a nice light nude brown shade, which is absolutely beautiful. Then we have a tinted lip balm in Bloodstain. This is absolutely beautiful packaging. I mean, just look at it. It's a cute little bullet. And here is the beautiful red shade and again with lip balms it's just a light tint of color and 
then we have a velour lip scrub in pink grapefruit again with the detailing so cute you may be hearing my cat he is exploring my stuff he may end up in a box here is the actual packaging it is so cute and it smells just like grapefruit real cute pink on the inside and now then I'm gonna move the tissue paper and we're gonna see what I have we have another star ranch palette which I already have somebody who will be getting that we have a, another magnetic palette which I probably will be keeping because I can never have too many of those and then the last thing is this beautiful makeup bag I am so excited about this makeup bag. I cannot believe it. I do not have any Jeffree Star bags at all. So I'm absolutely in love with this. And of course it has a beautiful star. Y'all know by now I love stars. Let me take all this tissue paper out. And here is the inside of the bag. It has plenty of room to fit some of your mini palettes in perfect for travel or you could even just use it to put brushes in because it is a really nice long size bag this is such an exciting thing for me this is only my second time getting to do mystery boxes i did get to do the spring boxes as a surprise from my husband and these are a surprise from my kids and my husband as well because they wanted to surprise me and get me all of them for my birthday which is so thoughtful of them. And now then, right away when you open it up, there is a mirror box at the top. This is the outside of the box. It says it is the pink sickle mirror, which is pretty exciting because if it's what I think it is, I do not have any of his popsicle mirrors. So I got the sticker off. Now I'm going to go see what it is. It is a popsicle mirror and I love pink. Everybody that knows me knows I love pink. It is a really good size mirror. I'm absolutely in love with this. I'm so excited. And it does not say Jeffree Star anywhere other than on the cute little handle. But of course this is like an ice cream type of popsicle where you can see the ice cream down at the bottom. I think this is really cute really cute detail and it does go well with the other mirrors if you happen to have those or this could be a start of your popsicle collection like it is for me we have a star ranch which i already have somebody that that will be going to i have a another magnetic palette which i think is nice that he put star ranch in all of the boxes in case you couldn't afford well except for the mini in case you couldn't afford to get all the boxes you were still going to get the star ranch palette before um it released on its launch date and i also like that he put the magnetic palette in some of the boxes as well so that way everybody got a chance to get one if you got premium deluxe or supreme so the next thing we have is a cute tie-dye i love pink and purple like i said so I cannot wait to see this. It feels nice and soft. It is so cute. Here is the shirt and it has the cutout on it. This would be perfect for doing yard work or a bathing suit cover or even wearing an undershirt under it. And then something that would match possibly or maybe to bring out the pink a little more. You could wear that under it if you're not comfortable with wearing a sports bra under a shirt like this. But I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I absolutely love it. He definitely went all out with the theme for sure because here is a beach ball. He definitely went with summer vibes which I absolutely love. Like I said they... He just, him and his team put a lot of time and thought into these, and he does listen to a lot of feedback. 
which I absolutely love about him. He tries to make everyone happy, like when he released Single Shadows. He did that because everybody said he needed to do it whenever he did the Put It Back Shane for the Shane palette. The Put It Back Shade, which was the real pretty green. So then he started doing that for other shades that he has. So if you happen to need a backup of a color, you can get it. And then everybody said that he needed to do Magnetic Palettes which he ended up doing. They said that they didn't want a bunch of repeat items, so he made sure to pay attention to that detail. So he does try his best to make everyone happy. The next thing we have is the gloss. This is in Heaven's Gate. I do not have anything from the cremated collection, so I'm really, really thankful to have this. This goes with the bag that I received in my deluxe box. It is a beautiful white glitter with flakes of silver in it. I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of everything that I've received. The next things I've received are these three single shadows. We have Blue Monday. We have Donor. And Deceased. And these colors are just absolutely beautiful. I love how in each box, the three shades that were put in the box, you could create eye looks with. So that is just really nice. And also, I like how every box had just a little bit of shadow in it. So you could see how you like his formula, which is always a plus. And here is the shade Donor. A beautiful beautiful copper tone and then here is blue Monday which is this beautiful blue that's just absolutely stunning the next thing we have is a velour lip scrub and candy necklace this is just I'm just so blown away right now here is the beautiful packaging of course and this is a good size and if I haven't mentioned, you can actually eat his lip scrubs if you want. That definitely smells like a candy necklace or like sweet tarts. That smells really good and it's just a nice white lip scrub on the inside. Now the next thing we have is a velour lip liner. And this is in the shade Dominatrix. And this is a nice deep brown tone. I do not have this. And if you are not one to wear darker lip liners, Jeffrey's liners can be used on the eyes as well. So I am really excited about that. And then we have another exclusive shade. This has a little yak with a star ranch on it. Jeffrey is all about his yak farm, which I absolutely love that he is in that stage of his life and doing stuff that he loves while still creating amazing products. Here is the beautiful pinky coral kind of shade. Makes me think of like a peach crush kind of daiquiri kind of vibe. Very pretty. And then... Oh, I'm really excited about this. I do not have a single Supreme Gloss, and I got one in Celebrity Skin. So this is matching the shade that I received in one of my boxes for my lipstick. And this one is just a nice, sleek packaging with a lot of cute detail, and it has a stiletto at the bottom, like a heel inspiration. And this one, I want to mention that the applicator is different this type of applicator hugs your lip to make it more easy to apply on your lips so i'm really excited to give this a try and we have an extreme frost i do not have this either here is the shade name this box is just gorgeous and oh my goodness white and pink definitely in love with this and here is the actual 
component. Just stunning. So much detailing. Last thing I have is something I do not have, which is the Blood Money palette, I believe, because it has the beautiful dollar sign tissue paper. I'm in love with this. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm so excited. I've wanted to get this for so long because of my son. He loves green. And like I said, I incorporate my kids' favorite colors in my collection. And I finally have this. And I just, I can't believe it. I just love the packaging to this. This unicarton is so cute. So much thought and effort put into this packaging. Again, here is the unicarton. Just beautiful. And it is raised on it. So that is really nice. Here is the trunk you all know Jeffrey loves trunks, so that is what inspired this. He wanted to give it a nice look, and it is absolutely beautiful, and it has the nice kind of crocodile kind of vibe. And on this, you just push this little button to the side, and it will open the palette up. It does have a full-size mirror, which I will cover up, and... Here are the beautiful, beautiful shades. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Um, for anybody wondering, I did not get a pink ticket, but that is okay. I'm very thankful and appreciative of getting these boxes because normally I do not get to do this type of thing. So to have the opportunity to be able to get these boxes is amazing to me. I definitely say these boxes were worth it to me because I do not have any of this stuff. It is all new to me. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you just really quick what the magnetic palettes look like with the shades in it. I especially love how he left space in between each shade so you can get them out without damaging them. This is for anybody that has a hard time getting in small spaces. Also, if you have really long nails, it helps you prevent poking the shadow trying to get it out. So this um, helps with the life of the palettes. Now, this bottom row here was from my spring box, but here is one of my palettes filled up. And then here is the other one. And the bottom row in this one as well is from my spring box. But I have nice colors. And like I said, it's so fun to mix and match and put whatever shades you want in the palette. So you can take this small palette with you and put it inside your makeup bag. And you're good to go. And you don't have to take a jumbo makeup palette with you if you don't have the space for it. It's just a great alternative. Like I said, these boxes were definitely worth it to me. I definitely say get one if you have the extra money. There are some still available as far as I know. I will put a link down in the description box to the website so that way you can find them quicker. It's not a link for me. It's just a link for you to find it faster. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. I do want to apologize that this was a longer video. I tried to prevent that, but I hope you do enjoy it, and I hope that you're happy that I'm back. I want you to remember to always have love in your heart, put a smile on somebody's face, and do something kind for somebody because you never know how much it may mean to them. As always, I love you all so very much, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.